Today I'm here to introduce one of our newest products. This is the FGI FlexiClone system, which is a four foot long clone light sold in pairs, and they can be daisy chained up to 20 lights in a single series. And this is what the box looks like when you receive it. And note that there are three equal sized boxes in here. Two hold light bars and one just holds the accessories. So there's not an actual third bar in there. It kind of looks like it, but there's not. So, And the reason we did it this way is because uh, the inner cartons and the outer cartons ship much better. And they're so uh, small that we really wanted to ship pairs of them and not singles. So they are sold in pairs. Here's what's in the box. Two FlexiClone bar lights. One uh, power cord with a 110 volt plug wired in. The instruction manual and two sets of really, really simple hanging hardware, one for each light. So we kept this very, very simple, easy to understand. So I have one of the bars here, and I just wanted to make note of a couple of the specs. First of all, in terms of the color spectrum of this light, we do use two different color chips, which is true for all of the Forever Green Indoors lights. This is using a neutral white and a warm white diode. And we mix those together to create about a 4000 K CCT color spectrum, which we found is ideal for plant growing. A couple other things, the diodes do have a conformal coating over the top, which means they can take a little bit of overspray without damaging the diodes. Uh, we don't recommend that, that water is sprayed directly on the light and certainly don't let water come down and, and you know, drip on the top of it um, because that could uh, ruin the light and, and void the warranty. But they can definitely handle a moist and humid environment and a little bit of overspray won't hurt them at all. So really well made. One thing I appreciate with a good grow light is they need to be really easy to install and hang because frankly, it's a pain in the neck when they're complicated. And so we ship just a pair of these simple clips with every light, one for each end. And I'm just gonna recycle some of the packaging, which is just these ties that we use to hold the wires together. A zip tie is great too. These are nice because they're easy to undo. You just snap these on the top of the light and then you can put it directly onto your baker's rack right from there. So it's really simple. Uh, and less wasteful too. And then as far as putting them together, there's just, uh, they just snap together very easily right here. And the power cord snaps onto the other end. You're ready to light them up. So very, very easy to use. I'm uh, really pleased with these. Okay, what I have here is I've taken two of the Flex Clone lights and I've installed them at the top of this Baker's style shelf system. It's four feet long and it's 18 inch deep shelves, and these are set at about 16 inches away from each other. We just wanna do the par readings to see how much energy the clones are gonna get. We don't wanna exceed their uh, tolerance or not have enough. Uh, right now, it's reading 175 micromoles right at the top of the propagation tray, all the way across the shelf. So very consistent, uniform energy. And also be aware that uh, just underneath the plastic lid, uh, it will get cut down par by about 15%. So when I take the measurement there, it's 145 micromoles of energy. Um, at Forever Green Indoors, we do believe that the perfect amount of energy for clones is somewhere between 100 and 200 micromoles. Uh, less than 100 micromoles is really not enough energy to create a photosynthetic benefit to your plants and get them started right. And above 200 micromoles is really kind of transitioning more to a veg plant that's got you know four, uh, two or three leaf sets on it. So for the little babies in a, uh, in a propagation tray like this, 150 is perfect. And as you can see, we're hitting that. So these are great lights. They're gonna be a, a popular seller for us here at FGI. So thank you. Take four. Daisy, da that's terrible. Um, they're daisy chain, a bowl, and they come uh, in a set. Oh, fuck, Jesus. 